So friends, we're here today because we love Tasmania's waterways and we love our state and because of the creeping threat that big salmon is posing to our rivers, our bays and our coastlines. Don't be fooled by the marketing lie that industrial salmon is good for the family or is good for the planet or is indeed good for Tasmania. It's not. And as a Tasmanian and a consumer, actor Essie Davis has generously lending her voice and considerable presence to getting that message out right across Australia. She's with us today. Yeah. Essie Davis. Thank you all for coming. I grew up in Tasmania with a father and mother who are deeply fascinated with the natural world. We'd have days of coast walking and beach combing and looking in rock pools. My sister would take me snorkeling in kelp forests. My brothers would take me fishing in the Don Tricasto Channel with its abundance of sea life. And they'd dive for crayfish and abalone. And pods of dolphins would chase the ferry in its wake across to Bruni Island. I've lived and worked all around the world, but there is nowhere as special and unique as Tasmania. I came home with my husband to live here because it's where we want our children to grow up, to share and love the wilderness and the natural wonder of our waterways and coastlines. When we moved to Bruni Island, I wanted our children to have the same wonderful gift of looking at rock pools filled with creatures and to try and spot giant cowries and weedy sea dragons and octopus in their underwater forests. To fish freely and to have the opportunity to collect their own abalone. We were welcomed into a beautiful community. But we soon discovered that this community had been tormented by growing industrial noise and light from the fish farms. And there had, at that time, been literally over 15 years of complaints that were constantly being ignored and belittled by the fish farms and the Environmental Protection Agency. And the fish pens doubled and then tripled and the boat traffic got noisier. And then there were huge industrial ships throbbing 24 hours a day louder than having a huge semi-trailer idling outside your bedroom window at all hours of the night and day. There are small communities of people all over Tassie living near fish farms and being tormented by noise and light and pollution and being ignored. And now everywhere you go on the North Island of Bruni, when you look out over the water, <laughs> there is no clear horizon. Everywhere you look, you see fish pens and factory ships. But not only that, when I take my children, when I take my children down to the channel to swim and fossick and fish and snorkel, there's nothing there. There's no kelp, there's no abalone, there's no weedy sea dragons. There's no leather jackets, there's no flathead, there's no dolphins. There's just empty, dead cowrie shells, sea lettuce, slime, and lots and lots of jellyfish. It's devastating. People think that when they buy farmed Tasmanian Atlantic salmon, they're sharing in the goodness of a little island on the edge of the Great Southern Ocean. Something clean, something green, wild and healthy. Grand Tasmania. But in Tasmania, we know that's a lie. It's a marketing ploy selling a toxic product that is secretly destroying our waterways and our rivers. I don't want any Tasmanian having to live near a fish farm. They're bad neighbours. The salmon barons are not fishing the great oceans but pouring their filth into our rivers, our coastal waters and onto our beaches. They take everything from the sea and they leave it full of antibiotics, faeces and slime. Toxic, 
and barren of the myriad of beautiful sea life that existed not so long ago. It's our Tasmania, not the fish farms. We need your voice. We can't do it on our own. We need you to stand up and make all of our voices heard around this island, across Australia and the world. This is what you can do. Don't buy salmon. Tell your friends not to buy salmon. Tell restaurants and pubs and sushi bars that they shouldn't have it on their menus. Tell them why. Ask your local supermarket not to stock it. Tell your yoga mum friends that it's not only bad for the environment, it's bad for them. Tell them eating salmon is killing Tasmania.